are you going to start then? Well, me, Annie and Charlotte are in the library sketching those statues they told us about. Didn't mention they were naked. Oh, they are. I didn't even notice. Ugh. I don't know how, Ada. Those are massive. Charlotte, shut up. Where are you? I'm in the green room. No one else is sketching it. It's perfect. Hey, isn't that where Charlie said he sketched earlier? Icon or phone switchboard, please state your requirement. Death and destruction for Charlie. Filtering through D. Death and destruction. No, 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 no. Rewind. Rewind. Please state your requirement. Well, I have another submission to get in. And having actually planned it out like a normal person would this time, somebody else has stolen my exact idea and now I'm going to be the one who ends up looking like a cheat. <laughs> Filtering directory under O. Ownership and accreditation. Match found. Putting you through. Thank you. Thank you for using the Iconophone switchboard. Do not indicate date. Do not allude to mortality. Warning, you are now at war. Warning, you are now at war. 41 Norfolk Square. 41 Norfolk Square. Ow! Ow, oh, hello? 41 Norfolk Square, the Ayrton household. Hertha speaking. Hertha, right, hi. This is the war office, yes? If you're calling to let me know about Eep, I know. Eep? Is that some sort of war office code name or something, man? That's hilarious. Eep. 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 The Belgian town that's just experienced a toxic German gas attack to devastating effect? This is a dark day for us. There are tens of thousands of men out there right now, and unless we can counter these gas attacks, I don't know how many of them will- Yeah, we've, we've really got to get this Hitler guy. Hitler? World War One. One? One, this is one hell of a war. Look, who are you? How did you get this number? Sorry, yeah, um, I'm Ada. I've been told that you can help me with a very serious and vitally important drawing. As an ex-war office employee, this telephone is my point of contact for anyone who needs my academic advice on the integral use of searchlights in the fight against the Fritz. And you want me to help you with a glorified doodle? Mm-hmm. And what exactly is it about this doodle that requires me to be interrupted at this hour? Well, it's actually meant to be architectural. Oh, you want to talk to me about the line divider? Why didn't you just say? No, silly me. Please do continue. Well, I've got a very important architectural study, and I've just been informed that someone else is doing the same thing as I am. And you need to know how to produce your drawing as efficiently as possible to stay ahead of your copycat yes. counterpart? You've certainly been directed to the right place. One of my line dividers should do the trick, I'm sure. What's that? It's a specialist tool which allows you to divide lines with the precision of a professional. What did you just use a knife? A knife? To divide a line? <laughs> oh my sweet child, that really has tickled me. A line divider is what I said. But I understand the confusion. Perhaps I should design a lime divider also. <gasps> a potato parter! An apple atomizer! A butternut squasher! Don't go off on one. Can we just focus on the drawing, please? Of course, of course, of course. I apologise. Sometimes my mind can run away with me. So, one line divider. Should I put in a designer's express delivery uh, for you? Yeah, that, that would be great, thank you. What's the address? It's uh, the Green Room in Call Street Manor in London. And is there a safe place to leave the package if you're not in? Yeah, like an 
the angled box thing. How exciting, a direct order from a customer. Direct, direct you mean don't, you don't make them? No, I don't make them, dear. I invented them. Patented the design back in 1884. Wow. It's used to make angles more precise and ensure that you keep within proportion when scaling down onto a sketch pad. You can give an impression of perspective much more swiftly. Oh, okay. But it sounds to me like you've got more of an issue with ownership. Huh? You mentioned that somebody else was working on the same subject? Oh yeah, classic Charlie. You see, he's the type of person who waits until everyone else has decided what they're going to do until he decides himself. <laughs> you know, one time I lied to him and told him that I was going to write an essay about the importance of potatoes in Russian literature, and he point blank copied me and got an A star. It can be difficult for a woman, particularly a child of Jewish immigrants like me, to appropriately convey the originality of her ideas. Yeah, the potato thing was all my idea. I learned very quickly to protect anything you intend to publish. That line divider is a petty example of the ideas that have previously occupied my mind. You mean drawing isn't like your thing? Heavens no! I'm a woman of physics. I have written a paper on the electric arc light. You won't know of them, but in a few years they will be all the rage, yeah, lighting yeah, up every sure. home. And despite writing that paper, I was still refused entry to the Royal Society on account of my being a married woman. Why would I faff around with science when there are societal expectations for me to follow? Oh my god, change the record! Oh, I like the idea of that. An attachment for the gramophone which alternates your chosen... No, I mean, like the saying, change the record. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> but the thing that keeps me going is knowing that despite that rejection, the science in that paper is being used as we speak to save lives. My science. Wow. So what's keeping you going? An next sandwich that I had earlier, but honestly all this talk about the drawer I was making really want another one. Do you think I'm a stress eater? No, no, no. What's fueling you? The yolk. <laughs> By Jove, you really are quite the jester, aren't you? You need to surround yourself with strong, independent women. My friend Emmeline tends to plump for a hunger strike to get around a troublesome situation. That way, they have to let you out of the prison. Prison? Cat and mouse act, they called it. Oh, so you're a suffragette? No, suffragist. Okay. So, um, Emmeline, uh, is that Emmeline? Pankhurst, yes. She continues to be somewhat more radical than me. I used to nurse her and all the frontliners after hunger strikes. Downstairs, in the living room. Oh, wow, that's fascinating. She says that if you know that what you're working towards is right, you'll get the results in the end, even if it's not in the way you'd expect it. I'd much rather my research be used in the war effort than do it just to give me a special title. Yeah, but that would be nice as well, though, right? Well, yes, it would be marvellous. Okay, well, I just think I'm just going to go now. Um, oh, my God. Yes, the EEP problem. Yeah, I just won't go away. That's it. The foul gas attack yesterday was deadly because it has chemical properties that allow it to linger. I'm going to need a really good fancy to get rid of this one. Great minds think alike. Just between you and me, I've been working on a small contraption which is light enough for every soldier to carry in the event of a toxic gas cloud attack. Yeah, that sounds really useful. Don't you think? It's vital if we're going to make any kind of progress. Yeah! De-stench the trench, I Absolutely! Said. You see, this is a far better legacy for my work than an empty title. Well, if you're so worried about credit, why don't you just name it after yourself? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Oh, come on. It's sad that this thing had to have been invented in the first place. Why not just give it some positives? Um, the Hertha Ayrton destenching device for troubled soldiers? No, no, I was thinking something more snappier, like... Um, the Ayrton flapper. <gasps> How dare you! The flapper will attract the wrong sort of customer. Oh, sorry, um, we don't want to attract any creepy fans. Um, oh, that's it, what about the Ayrton fan? Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, it's got a ring to it and there's air in it. 
Yes, I suppose it does. Oh, that's the war office calling. They're expecting designs by the end of the week. Okay, we'll make sure you put your name on it before you post it. I will, thank you. Well, thanks to the line divider, or should I say, line divider. <laughs> no, I really must go. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Were you satisfied with the service today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, she gave me this line divider, which is supposedly supposed to help me get a better grade than Charlie, but in the beginning I didn't... Yes, yes, don't go off on one. Was your quandary resolved? Yep. And do you require anything further today? No. Nope. Right, disconnecting your call. Hi. Hey. Uh, sorry, the call got cut off. It's really dodgy service in this room. Oh, uh, that's okay. Hey, just as well you called because I need to tell you that Charlie's not sketching the green room. He's doing the orangery. I got confused. I knew it had a colour in it. 